and welcome to Prep Eve, where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. Welcomes are ready to the success story series. Over to you, sir. Ready? Please introduce yourself. Oh hi, uh, so hi Sanjita and hi everyone. So uh, I'm sir ready. So to give my to give some background. So uh, I mean currently I'm in Canada. Like I say, I, I mean I'm currently working in Canada. Uh, like before this, like to give some background. So I'm a B.Tech graduate back in 2017. After that, I have been working. I work as a software engineer. And since 2017, I have been working uh, as a uh, as a software engineer at Amazon. Okay. And I have recently come to Canada. I mean, like I have I have come on an uh, intra-company transfer like okay. through Amazon from India. So yeah, it, it's been like four months since I came to Canada. And the reason I took uh, the IELTS test was uh, for my permanent residence in Canada and for which I have to meet some, uh, for which the PR is mandate, I mean, the IELTS is mandatory and I need some minimal score at least to meet the criteria. Yes, absolutely. So it's just been four months and he's already eligible for the Canadian PR because he has managed to score a really good score in his IELTS GT. And now I would like you to share your scores with everyone. Yeah, so my scores are like, unfortunately, I got like seven in listening and I got nine in reading, which I didn't expect. And I got uh, seven and seven in speaking and writing like which is a decent score like given that the bar for uh, speaking and writing is a bit high mm -hmm. so yeah overall i feel that i got uh, uh, less score in um, listening like basically when i was practicing the mock it was the other way so i used to get at least like 33 34 questions correct out, correct out of 40 in listening and I just used to get like 30 or 31, like basically just in the border out of 40 in writing. So I had concentrated more on my writing. Sorry, I, I meant reading. I had concentrated more on my reading. Like there was one specific section where I used to get less marks in reading. So like before, like the, the day before the examination to meet, like to get at least 33, 34, I practiced on that particular section, like where there is long paragraph and there are like 14 15 questions on that yeah but like i was always confident about uh, uh listening but i wasn't confident on the uh, reading so i practiced a it's bit a matter more, of but chance, it's like, probably and because you were confident uh in listening and not in reading you started focusing a lot more on reading and ended up scoring a perfect nine there so congratulations yeah. on that and yeah. uh could you share your strategies for writing and speaking? How did you practice? How much did you practice? And how did you manage work along so, with your uh, Yeah, to be frank, I wasn't aiming very high scores. Like, like basically the reason behind why I didn't aim high score was, like, first of all, uh, like, I just uh, have a very small time, like time frame of say like 20 days or 30 days because I work and parallelly, it's very difficult for me to manage time for IELTS. And second thing, like my basic, I mean, my necessity is PR, like for which, uh, like at least from, from my discussion with my peers, like it's basically the minimal scores that I always target. I mean, uh, that I need. Because uh, like there are other factors as well, which, uh, and yeah, basically related to IELTS, like my target is like, I mean, above average scores. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so like the preparation strategy I followed for writing is like, yeah, like, like basically uh, Shivam guided me through the process, like from prepared. So like yeah, the good thing uh, here it is like he gave me the templates, uh, like templates for letter and templates for essay. So I guess you mean format, uh, not the templates exactly. <laughs> yeah, basically it's like, yeah, basically, I don't know, like, it's basically both a synonym, so it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, probably I'll discuss this later on. Templates are memorized, so that's something that you shouldn't be doing. Format is what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically, like he gave me 
few formats like for different types of essays and writing so uh, so basically i uh, I, i have practiced like uh, maybe five essays and uh, maybe like four letters or something and yeah uh, and basically i was comfortable with the format and then like once i'm comfortable in the format i was pretty confident that like i would get the like minimal scores that i that i that i was targeting basically i was targeting just six but i got seven okay great just, great and let yeah. me tell the audience he just took 10 sessions with us which means 10 hour classes and still he managed to score the minimum desired band score so imagine if you practice a little longer you can easily score way more than what you've already scored Yes, so that, yes, yeah. To give it, more context, yeah. I just, I mean, since I was targeting like like basic scores, I just practiced like five writing, probably five essays, and probably three four uh, letters, yeah, yeah. and I managed to get like seven. So basically, yeah. If I mean, if you practice like ten or like twelve or thirteen, obviously, like you'll end up getting seven point five. Or I don't know how or easy it is to get eight. Yeah, but yeah, eight is like nine in writing, nine yes. in reading and yes. listening. So, so yeah, you should be at a very perfection, like when you are targeting it. But yeah, I would guarantee that you you would definitely get seven point five or eight if you practice like twelve twelve to thirteen essays. And basically, it's about uh, how comfortable you are. Like when basically once you practice a letter, you need to give it for. Uh, feedback, feedback and like once your instructor gives some feedback, you need to make sure that you don't repeat those mistakes again. Okay, yeah. Can you implement uh, whatever feedback has been given to you by the trainer? So of yeah. course that's really important. What about speaking? Yeah, speaking. To be frank, I mean I'm comfortable with uh, uh, my language. English. And yeah, so. yeah probably what i did is like just before like my exam was in the afternoon like say around 2 pm to 5 pm so on that day in the morning like for 40 50 minutes i had in i had a mock interview i mean in mock speaking session with shivam okay. yeah and it helped a lot and before that yeah there was probably one one or two speaking classes in which like yeah shivam told the format you have to follow and yeah basically it, it was mostly like yeah the strategy was yeah the, i mean the format and it was mostly like impromptu for me because like like i was comfortable that like i would definitely achieve the minimal scores and uh, and and the mock sessions helped uh, a lot because like it it, it just uh, i mean like as soon as you go to the speaking test like it 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 it, it just make me i mean it it, it I, i felt very comfortable because i had the exact similar Uh, so you get session. familiarized with the questions. You get familiarized with the kind. Yeah, to of be frank, like the the intro questions were direct. Like morning only, like Shiva asked, like what do you see from your window? What's your name? So where do you work? Same questions were asked. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. Oh. Like the first uh, in in introductory questions, like oh, the same question was asked, like what do you see from your window? Okay. Etc. Like do you, do you live in a high rise apartment or a? Oh, uh, that's nice. You're lucky. that that yeah. rarely happens but yeah but good. yeah but what i heard is like few people feel like to be frank my manager also gave ielts like last probably like two weeks back yeah, and obviously he didn't prepare anything in speaking and he felt speaking to be a little difficult because like he didn't prepare a lot and he was facing like especially he felt it like an interview or something so That's yeah with with little basically you need a little practice you can practice means some mock tests or like maybe you can just practice it with yourself like by looking it to looking into some mirror or mirror, practice course, course. yeah or maybe you can practice it with your brother or your wife yeah so the so, whole point with speaking and writing is that you need to focus on getting feedback you might write a lot of essays and letters you might also practice a lot of speaking mock tests but if you're not getting any feedback on it you'll not be able to improve yeah. so the major focus is supposed to be on the feedback and uh, you can share our details with your manager if he needs any help yeah yeah kidding uh, <laughs> around kidding around okay so uh, that's great and uh, i would want to know whether you took the paper based test or computer delivered test yeah i took the computer based test like 
yeah, the primary reason for me was to get the results as soon as possible. Okay. Like okay. in computer-based tests, probably I would get results within four days. Yeah, four days. Three to five days. And the second, yeah, and the second thing is like I had the speaking test on the same day. So that was another reason why I took the computer based test. You want yeah, to but, get done with it on one day. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is, uh, yeah, in the computer based test, I found it to be like, yeah, pretty. Uh, I mean, uh, like earlier I was practicing the Cambridge materials that was shared by Prepeev. So Basically what I was like, I had some difficulty in like going through the huge paragraph and then coming, scrolling up and down for the answers. But whereas in computer-based tests, it's like you have the questions on the left, like the yeah. huge paragraph on the left, and then you have the questions on the right. So, so the it was pretty easy to, into... yeah. yeah. So it was quite easy for me to navigate through the questions and parallelly map, map them with the answers. So that is actually important. Now, uh, do you think the listening scores were impacted because of computer delivered tests? Is that the case? Can you blame it no. on that? Not actually. Like listening, as I told, I was pretty confident there. Like I always got like 30, like I always got like 32, 33 or like I even like before the examination, like the day before the examination, I even got like 35 or 36. But unfortunately, like it was just like one bad exam, and unfortunately, it turned out to be the real IELTS exam. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's it's, fine. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's basically like I I was doing well till like like till thirty questions, maybe like twenty seventh question or twenty eighth question. I was doing well, and then like and then like at thirty fourth question or something, like I missed something, and then in a sequence, I missed all of the yeah, questions. So like, I would like to. Uh, you know, give you the solution to that to all the listeners so that you won't make such a mistake. When you miss out one question in listening, don't focus on that question. Don't get stuck or fixated on that question because if you do that, you'll miss out on the next couple of questions as well. So if you think that you've missed out on the word or you're not able to understand what the word was, but you've heard it, just move on to the next question and maybe towards the end, you can, you know, make a, make a calculated guess or just, you know, an educated guess, okay, this could be the answer and type or write whatever you want to. Don't stress a lot about what you've missed because that will end up, uh, you know, you leading to not being able to complete a couple of other questions as well. So please don't do that mistake. And apart from that, uh, yeah, we are not blaming the computer del delivered test here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, so ready, I want you to tell the audience uh, certain tips, certain strategies, or some generic advice that you want these guys to know, since you managed to score really well in your very first attempt. So, what was your mindset yeah. like, and any advice, any recommendations for the audience? Yeah, yeah, to be honest, like, the first, I mean, why, uh, like, since uh, I'm working, like, I had very, like, minimum time, like, very narrow time window. Uh, to give my IELTS examination. So basically, like within that narrow time window, basically I have to get as much as, uh, as many tips as possible or as much as guidance as possible. So that's why I opted for Prepeep so that uh, like within very less time span, like within 10 days or 15 days, I would get all the tips necessary to give a good attempt for an examination. So yeah, first of all, like you need the basic guidance. So yeah, I, I would recommend Prepi. Like other than that, like few few people can manage on their own, like with by some YouTube videos or some material on the internet. Like even that is suggested. Yeah, but like if you have a narrow time window, I would suggest, uh, yeah, go to, uh, I mean, yeah, to uh, get some guidance. Like yeah, I would recommend Prepi. Yeah, but. I leave it up to you. Like you can get it from. Yeah, anywhere. yeah. No, nobody is listening yeah. to you and following your instructions blindly. <laughs> yeah. Because already yeah, but... taking a lot of stress right now, it's taking burden of uh, you know responsibility. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. So... After this, yeah, probably for other things like in the four sections, yeah, you would need some. As I told, you would need uh, guidance in writing and speaking. Yeah, other than that, basically, uh, yeah, basically writing, 
I felt that writing and speaking is subjective, whereas uh, reading and listening, uh, like as as in when you practice, you'll see the scores on. So it's objective. The or, results are yeah, they're objective. Okay. So probably yeah, like once you get the basic tips uh, for listening and reading, you can practice them on your own. Like and you can see that you improve your scores. Like you can focus on the specific sections where uh, your scores are. uh like where, where where your scores are trending less yeah basically yeah like reading and uh, uh sorry listening and reading like the i mean it's up to you so how much you whatever you practice you'll get it but for writing and speaking you'll need some good guidance and some constant feedback mechanism yeah uh, overall yeah that is what i'll suggest all right great thank you so much sir dairi that was really insightful thank you for all the details that you have provided us with your strategies and everything so thank you so much for sparing your time thank you so much yeah. for coming for thank this you. interview and all the very best for your future all the very best for your pr process in case if you need any help you can let us know we'll be there to help you out and assist you in the entire process thank, thank you. you so much once again have a good night Thank you. You. Bye bye. Take care.